Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for the Amazon exclusive Paradon Medics Ratchet and Lifeline. This decal set includes three decal sheets on foil backing and one on vinyl. Now I'm going to break this video up into two parts. Part one will be for Ratchet and part two for Lifeline. So now without further ado, let's take a look at Ratchet both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Ratchet looks great and very much like his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart, though he really doesn't have a lot of paint applications. Lots of molded detail, but very sparse with the paint. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got a fantastic head sculpt, silver face, blue eyes, and a black crest. A tinted window right here that I'm really not a big fan of because you can see right inside his chest. I do like the fact that they actually painted the windshield wipers. That looks really good. Up here on the shoulders, he has some red that are the light bars, I believe, from vehicle mode. Moving on down the legs, he's got some red stripes there. For his shield, which is also the top of the vehicle, and I was mistaken, there's the light bar. He's got a Autobot symbol right there. So other than that, he is pretty much all white and gray. So there you go, guys. One final look at Ratchet in robot mode before and after. Ratchet's robot mode gets quite the upgrade thanks to toy hacks. The first decals you're probably noticing are the new windshield and window decals on the chest and legs. Those really help break up all that white that the figure originally had, but I'm going to go over those decals more in vehicle mode. Taking a closer look at Ratchet, you'll see he's got brand new red cross decals on both shoulders. There is new black and silver decals right there in the armpit and bicep. New red decals here on the forearms and little blue decals right above the wrist. He also gets a new Autobot logo right there in the center. Moving on down the legs, we got new yellow and red decals on the thighs and a blue decal right there on the knee. On the side of the leg, you get these new decals, a yellow and red there, and a silver and black there. On Ratchet Shield, we got a new R99 decal, another red cross, and a mirrored image ambulance logo, you know, that carries over more into vehicle mode. With Ratchet's chest here, you flip this down, and that reveals a medical readout screen. So that is really cool. And for you G1ers out there, the center decal, that's a nice Easter egg to Ratchet's old ugly-ass sticker face he had with his original toy. Now, there was another decal that the set came with that I skipped out on applying, and that was this red decal here that goes on his crest. Now, in the original comic and cartoon, Ratchet's crest was gray, so I just left that as is. So there you go, guys. Ratchet in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Ratchet is a little plain. The only paint applications he has, red stripe here along the side. He's got the red, red and black light bar here up top with that Autobot logo. I love the blue tinted windows. Still not a fan of clear plastic, but that doesn't look too bad aside from seeing Ratchet's head right there. Front of the vehicle looks pretty good too. You got the black grill the molded in headlights, and really that's about it. Vehicle mode for Ratchet is a little plain. 
So there you go, Ratchet in vehicle mode before and after. And Ratchet's vehicle mode looks amazing now. It almost looks like a completely different toy. Now the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals. And I love the windshield. Very creative how they did it. It's actually in three parts. You got a big section right here, and then there's two little strips that go right underneath the wipers to really make it look like one solid piece. And that looks awesome. There's also window decals here, and this is a two-party. You can see a little tiny decal there, and windows that go all along the side of the vehicle, and that looks great. There's also black striping that goes along the sides here on the lower portion of the vehicle. Now, pay attention that this side here is actually two decals, where this side is one long one. So make sure you know which side is which when you're applying those decals. There's also a red stripe extension right here on the front because originally that was plain. Now that stripe goes all the way across. A new red cross decal right there on the side. Up here, he's got a red Autobot City sign. There are options to use. I decided to go with Autobot City because that pretty much covers everything. Also, R99 there on the top. You also see he has brand new rims for the wheels that look really good. Front of the vehicle, he gets a new grill and new headlights and a little vanity plate. Mine says Ratchet. Once again, let's see, you do have options. The back of the vehicle, there is taillights right there. And how do you put those in? You make sure to move the foot out of the way or the back, this is vehicle mode, and apply it right there. And it just looks amazing. I love the looks of this. Oh yeah, new uh, Red Cross decal there on the top. So there you go, guys. One final look at Ratchet in vehicle mode after. <laughs> Toy Hacks absolutely blew me away with what they were able to do with this Ratchet figure. This is an amazing decal set and one that actually benefits both robot mode and vehicle mode equally. Both modes look fantastic. As I said earlier, he looks like a completely different toy. Now, of course, Ratchet is part one of the Paradron Medic set, so make sure and click the link above to check out part two, where I go over the decal set for Lifeline. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!